Hello friends. I just got my COVID vaccine and I would encourage everyone else to do likewise. I know there's some hesitation about the vaccines and, and it's my belief that most of that is due to inadequate information. So if you're interested, I'd like to tell you why I was thrilled to line up for a shot and why I'm anxious for my family to get their immunizations as soon as possible. First of all, the vaccine is safe, and effective. It is a modern triumph based on solid science. It has fully and openly gone through the scientific process. Yes, it was created in record time, but it wasn't concocted by a mad scientist with a political agenda. It was created with a new technology that I think will become the gold standard for future vaccines. So what is this new technology? Well, most vaccines use inactivated or weakened forms of the virus or bacteria that they are opposing. But this new vaccine doesn't use the virus or, or even proteins from the virus that causes COVID. So, so just to be clear, no one is trying to inject you with the virus and the virus cannot, I'm sorry, the vaccine cannot give you COVID. This new technology relies on mRNA, which some of you may remember from high school biology. mRNA is the body's blueprint for building proteins. It's, it's like the software that runs the ribosomes in your cells. So the mRNA gets taken up into your cells, but it doesn't go into the nucleus and it doesn't interact with your DNA. And it tells the cells how to build those spike proteins, the, 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 the spike proteins that mimic the ones that you would actually see on the coronavirus. I'm sure all of you have seen pictures of the coronavirus and you probably noticed that it's spiky. And, and at one point, some scientists thought that those spikes looked like a crown, so they named it coronavirus or crown virus. Anyway, the vaccine doesn't give you the spike proteins, but it gives your body the blueprint to build them. So then your body makes a bunch of tackle dummies and runs practice drills with the immune system to prepare a defense strategy in case of an actual attack from the actual virus. Now, anyone who's run practice drills on a tackle dummy will tell you that those drills cause soreness and achy muscles. Now, that's not a side effect of the workout, it's an effect of the workout. Likewise, about half the people who get the COVID vaccine will be sore and achy for a day or two. Some may also run a fever. Those are not side effects of the vaccine. That's the effect. That's what we want. It's one of the ways that you know that your immune system is working. Of course, some people feel fine afterwards, and that doesn't mean that their vaccine isn't or, or wasn't effective. In fact, after the second dose, the vaccine is about 95% effective at preventing COVID infection. That's phenomenal. That is a phenomenal success rate, which is exactly why we all need to get our shots. This pandemic isn't going away until we develop a collective herd immunity, and there are only two ways that that can happen. Either a lot more people can get sick, a process that would push our U.S. death rates into the millions and our global death rates into the tens of millions, or we can all get immunized. These immunizations are not perfect, but they are clearly the better of the two options. They're based on solid science. They are reasonably safe. They are remarkably effective. And until most of us get our shots, we're going to have to keep wearing masks. And we can't go out to eat, and we can't go to the movies, and we can't hug our loved ones. Honestly, I would rather not have to get a shot. I'd rather not have to feel achy afterwards, but that seems a small price to pay in order to get us through this COVID thing. Thanks for listening.